In this lesson, you will learn about the orphan drug designation system in Japan. The orphan drug designation system in Japan is regulated by the laws and notifications described here. The first line is the PMD Act. The second line is regulation for the enforcement of the PMD Act. And the third line is the notification. Drugs satisfying the following three criteria are designated as orphan drugs. 1. Number of patients. 2. Medical needs. And 3. Possibility of development. Regarding the requirement for the number of patients, any of the following should be satisfied. The number of patients should be less than 50,000, or the target disease should be one of the intractable diseases designated by Ministry of Health, Labour and Welfare. 50,000 patients means 0.04% of the Japanese population. Regarding the requirements for medical needs, the target should be serious diseases with high medical needs. High medical needs mean that there are no appropriate alternative drugs or therapies or markedly higher efficacy or safety is expected compared to existing drugs. Regarding the requirements for possibility of development, there should be theoretical grounds for using the drug for the target disease and the development plan is appropriate. This slide shows incentives for orphan drug designation. The arrows in the centre indicate the general development phase of an orphan drug. By obtaining orphan drug designation, companies can receive preferential treatment according to the stage of development. Each one is explained from the next slide. As a preferential treatment that continues from orphan drug designation to post-approval, companies can have PMDA consultation preferentially. In general, companies need to apply for consultation once a month on the specified date, but companies can apply as needed for orphan-designated drugs. Also, the consultation fee will be reduced. In the regulatory review, priority reviews and reduction of review fees are granted. Orphan designated drugs are reviewed preferentially compared with non-orphan drugs. The target review period is 9 months for orphan designated drugs while it is 12 months for non-orphan drugs. The review fee is also reduced according to the application classification. For clinical trials to be conducted from the time of orphan drug designation to the time of approval application, there is issuance of subsidies and preferential treatment of tax. The re-examination period, which is usually 4 to 8 years after approval, may be extended up to 10 years for orphan designated drugs. The re-examination period is a so-called market exclusivity period. The approval application of generic drugs can be made only after this re-examination period is completed. Also, with regard to drug price, premium pricing is granted and price reduction is postponed for orphan drugs. These are the main incentives for orphan drug designation.